And first, I will uh, call here Maria Cecilia Puglesi, please. I, I, I didn't tell you, but at the end, if you want, you can do a little doodle and thing like that, just near Koji Amamura, the drawing and thing like that. So please, take a mic. So welcome. Um, you coming from School Visual of Arts. Yes. Yeah. What is the, the study, the year, the number of your study in uh, School Visual of uh, Arts? Two years. It's an MFA in Computer Arts. So, yes. So did you have to know, did you know animation before that? Or no, did you just learn animation? Uh, I did. I studied before in Barcelona, uh, at the Universidad Pompeu Fabra. There is a master in animation, and I had done that one. In the, in the story of Shift, uh, is, is, is it what, what came first, the idea of talking about you know a wild side and you know more more civilized size, side sorry or talking about women kind of liberation or something like that? What was first? Uh, I think it was the encounter between yes yeah, a more structured civilized world and the nature and how they encounter. So the women is a medium to come across this, and also it's. It's not environmental film. Uh, it's not. A, it's more like a self-discovery kind of film. Like the character encounters another side to herself, maybe. Something that she maybe has forgotten. Yes. That's something like. Thing like that. Yes, something <laughs> of the sort. It, it was important at one point to see. Uh, I know because it's you know sometimes nudity and especially in student film and in thriller like that you don't yeah. do much. <laughs> it was really important to show. Her <laughs> Nude like that? Yes, mostly because um, I like to draw naked women <laughs> or naked people. Or, and um, it was born originally as a storyboard, so I was drawing and doodling, and it was important to story. Like animals don't dress, and nature is not dressed. So if if I was to show it in a politically correct way, then it would lose the point. So she had to be naked. It's a cheerful film. For me, it's a joyful film. I mean, it's yeah. not because it's a complex matter, you know, the things to go back to a wild side again or something like that. But you make it more, uh, not fun, but yeah, a little bit fun, yeah? Don't yeah. you think? It's, it's not cheerful, it's not sad, it's. I think it's um, quite quiet. Like, it's uh, peaceful and it's in the rhythm and in the space, so it, it is in a light tone, yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it, but it, it was important again. Do you think animation can do that, not better, but in another way than live action to tell again a complex story, but in a in another way, in a lighter way? Yes, maybe. I think any medium can be used if you know what you want to tell. So it could be done with drawings. It could be done with actual characters. Then nudity would be a bigger issue, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what about the rhythm? There is a really great rhythm in the film. Did you add a storyboard, really finish? You worked on a storyboard for a long time before beginning the film? Actually, no. <laughs> it was a storyboard class assignment as when I did the storyboard, and that's how it was born. And then I wanted it without, without dialogues because the films I like the most generally are without dialogues. So it was born like that, like... A, play between the light and the space and how they were meeting and the music, which we found a great musician for it. So, uh, did you work with the music? The, it was recorded before or not you d no. on the storyboard, on finished film? The musician, it, it was a composition already the musician had, but I had seen, uh, I had heard his music in a film I saw. So happily he was living in Brooklyn by the time and then he moved to Boston, so I wrote him. I didn't thought he was going to reply, but he did, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have a co-director with you? Yes. So, to, uh, how do we work together on, on a film like that? Yes, we are uh, two. Uh, we were classmates. And then we had uh, a bunch, a quite big bunch of friends helping. So at the end, we end up being like 50. <laughs> <laughs> Counting musicians, sound designers, friends who were helping maybe with something specific. It's not very typical, but I had many friends already uh, from my previous master. Uh, and I was doing internship before in Blue Sky the year before, so I had known a lot of people, and many of them were happy to help with specific things, rigging and things we were not doing ourselves. So. You're staying now in the United States? No, because no? I went to United States with a Fulbright grant. 
And then it has a two years home requirement thing that sends you back to Europe. And I must say I'm happy to come back. So I have just moved back. I stayed for one year afterwards working and I have just come back to Europe. <laughs> What are you doing now? Uh, because I read that you do illustrated books for children, that's it? Uh, well, I do many things, but <laughs> I just came back uh, a week ago. So I went to Barcelona, which is where I was living before moving to the US, and now I still haven't decided if I will stay in Spain or if I will come maybe to France, depending. What do you want to do? You want to still go in the short film? I, I'm asking you that because You know, it's maybe stupid, but when you see sometimes a 3D movie like yours, uh, it was kind of classical in the graphic, but the story is a little bit different than when you can <laughs> see, you know. You always think, do you want to, she want to go to, you know, big studio, you talk about Blue Sky, or she want to do a short film by yourself or thing like that? Well, I think on the side, we'll always be doing uh, either my projects or my friends' projects. Right now, I'm helping two friends with projects, and before I did with another one which I should promote, it's Carlos Baena's film. It's called The Night Will. Woo. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's going to be on YouTube after that, so It please. will be out in probably, I don't know, in a while. And uh, so I'm always working on projects that I like, and at the same time, I have to live and pay my bills. So for that purpose, uh, but I want to do what I like for jobs. That's why I'm doing animation and not anything else. Illustration is quite close, so I do that too. So now I think medium-sized studio would be my ideal thing. There is plenty of studios now in, in Spain, actually, no? Yeah. For animation. Yeah, there is Ilion, which I would like because it's in Madrid and there's a good weather there. <laughs> Or um, there are a few, well, there are quite a few in Paris, uh, in Barcelona too, so who knows? Yeah, I'm saying that because a lot of feature film from uh, Spain and yeah. a lot of, of short film we've seen them in competition, of course, here and... Yeah. Uh, So big There's scene one now. in the program, uh, Catch the Flag. Oh, so it's uh, uh, yeah. plenty of them. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, so I will ask you that, of course, uh, after all the Q&A, if there is any question in the room shift, normally you see the images, so you should maybe remember what film it is. It's difficult for the first, you know, yeah. Q&A. They don't <laughs> actually ask question. Well... Thank you so much Merci for your film and you can do a little drawing. Thank you. Okay, thank you.